Ever wondered how animals thrive in some of the harshest conditions on Earth? This question is not just a curiosity, but a gateway into the mesmerizing world of animal adaptations. Animals are a testament to the awe-inspiring power of nature. From the highest mountaintops to the deepest ocean trenches, from the sultry tropics to the frigid polar caps, animals have found a way to survive and thrive. But how do they do it? The answer is as fascinating as it is complex. Adaptation. Adaptation is nature's way of equipping animals with the tools necessary to flourish in their environment. It's like a master craftsman, meticulously chipping away, sculpting and refining until the perfect tool emerges. These tools or adaptations range from physical traits, like the long neck of a giraffe, to behavioral traits, like the migratory patterns of birds. But adaptation is not a one-time process. It's a dynamic, ever-evolving phenomenon. Imagine a dance where the rhythm is the environment and the dancers are the animals. As the rhythm changes, the dancers must adjust their steps. Similarly, as environments change, animals adapt, ensuring they continue to thrive in their changing world. Understanding these adaptations is not just fascinating, it's crucial. It allows us to appreciate the intricate balance of life on Earth. It helps us grasp how every creature, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, plays a role in maintaining this balance. And importantly, it underscores our responsibility to protect and preserve this delicate balance. Adaptations are a testament to the resilience of life, a celebration of diversity, and a marvel of evolution. They highlight the fact that life in all its myriad forms is not just about surviving, but thriving. So how about we delve deeper into the fascinating world of animal adaptations? Imagine living in a place where the temperature is permanently below zero. How would you survive? Quite the conundrum, isn't it? Yet there are creatures that thrive in such brutal conditions, their bodies adapted in ways that can only be described as astonishing. Take the majestic polar bear, for instance, the icon of the Arctic. The secret to their survival lies in their thick, double-layered fur, which is denser than any other bear's. This fur, combined with a layer of fat that can be up to four inches thick, not only provides insulation but also buoyancy while swimming. But that's not all. Their fur is not actually white. It's translucent, reflecting light to blend in with their snowy surroundings, a masterstroke of camouflage that aids in their hunt for seals. Now let's shift our gaze to the Antarctic, to another creature that has mastered the art of survival in the polar opposite end of the world. Penguins, the endearing waddlers of the south, have a few tricks up there, well, flippers. Their feathers are densely packed, providing a waterproof layer over a thick layer of blubber. This blubber serves a dual purpose. It insulates against the cold and also acts as a reserve of energy when food is scarce. But perhaps the most fascinating adaptation in these birds is something called the countercurrent heat exchange system. In this system, blood vessels carrying warm blood from the penguin's core pass close to vessels carrying cold blood from the extremities. The warm blood heats the cold blood, reducing heat loss and ensuring that the core temperature stays stable. It's nature's own central heating system. These extraordinary adaptations are testament to the resilience and ingenuity of life. They remind us that no matter how harsh the conditions, life always finds a way to endure, to thrive and to surprise us. Not impressed yet? Well, brace yourselves as we venture into another extreme environment. Now let's turn up the heat and explore life in the desert. The desert, a land of extremes, where the temperature soars during the day and plummets at night. It is a world of sand and sun, where water is scarce and survival is a daily challenge. But even in this harsh environment, life thrives, demonstrating incredible adaptations that are nothing short of thrilling. Take, for instance, the iconic camel. This resilient creature is a marvel of desert adaptation. Its humps, contrary to popular belief, are not water stores, but reservoirs of fat, providing energy when food and water are scarce. When they do find water, camels can drink up to 40 gallons in a single go, storing the water in their bloodstream to prevent dehydration. Their nostrils can close completely to keep out sand during desert storms, and their long eyelashes protect their eyes from the harsh sun and blowing sand. 
Thick fur insulates them from the intense heat during the day and the bone-chilling cold at night. Truly, camels are the epitome of desert survival. But let's not forget the small yet equally impressive fennec fox. With its large ears, it has a built-in cooling system that helps dissipate heat and keep its body temperature down. These ears also act as powerful radar dishes, picking up the faintest sounds of potential prey or predators. The fennec fox is also a master of desert camouflage. Its sandy-coloured coat blends seamlessly with the desert landscape, providing an excellent defence against predators. They are primarily nocturnal, which allows them to avoid the scorching daytime heat and take advantage of the cooler night temperatures. Moreover, their furry feet not only provide traction on the loose sand, but also act as natural shoes, protecting their paws from the hot desert floor. From the large camel to the small fennec fox, these desert dwellers showcase the power of adaptation. They are testaments to life's tenacity and creativity, living proof that even in the harshest of environments, life finds a way. It's fascinating how nature has equipped these creatures to survive in such harsh conditions, isn't it? From the dry desert to the deep, dark depths of the ocean, our journey now plunges us into a world of perpetual darkness, a realm so alien it might as well be another planet. This is the domain of the deep sea creatures, an array of life forms that have developed incredible adaptations to survive in this harsh environment. Take the anglerfish, for instance. In the pitch black of the deep sea, this creature has weaponized light. It possesses a unique feature, a luminous lure dangling before its mouth, a beacon in the darkness. This is bioluminescence, a chemical reaction within the anglerfish's body that produces light. This radiant lure is not just for show, it's a deadly trap. The anglerfish uses it to attract unsuspecting prey right into its gaping jaws. But the anglerfish isn't the only deep-sea denizen with fascinating adaptations. Let's now turn our attention to the giant squid. This colossal creature with eyes as large as dinner plates has one of the most impressive visual systems in the animal kingdom. These large eyes are an adaptation to the dark environment, enabling the squid to capture as much light as possible to spot prey or predators. Furthermore, the bodies of these deep sea creatures are designed to withstand extreme pressure. At such depths, the pressure can be a thousand times greater than at sea level, yet these creatures thrive. Their bodies built to resist the crushing forces, their internal structures flexible and compressible. But perhaps the most astounding part is that these are just a few examples. The deep sea is home to thousands of species, each with its own unique set of adaptations, each a testament to the power of evolution and natural selection. These adaptations are not just random, they are the result of millions of years of evolution and natural selection. So what have we learned about animal adaptations? We've discovered that they are nature's ingenious way of equipping living creatures to thrive in their unique environments, be it the icy tundra, the blistering desert, or the mysterious ocean depths. These adaptations are as diverse as the habitats themselves, highlighting the resilient spirit of life on Earth. Next time you see an animal, remember it's not just a creature, it's a product of nature's ingenuity and resilience.